Good day, this is Werner Hughes. I'm from Kabecha, specifically Fiveways Ministry, a branch church of Word of Faith Christian Centre. Now, what can I tell you about myself? I grew up in Port Elizabeth. And you know, Port Elizabeth is known as the friendly city. But specifically, I grew up in the northern areas. Now, in the northern areas, I'm not discarding any other area in Port Elizabeth. I'm speaking from my experience. In the northern areas, we produce the best sports people and the best scholars. We had doctors, lawyers, advocates, teachers, politicians. They were all produced in my locality. And they've, they've got great achievements. And the achievements gave them better standing in society. And they gave them better wealth. But you know, where I grew up, people on the whole were not impressed by wealth or your material, material possessions. The natural love for people brought us together as a community. The love for sport brought us together as a community. The love of Sister Manolas cook sisters on a Sunday morning brought us together as a community. The love of standing around a fire and drying brought us, brought us together as a community. And some evenings we'll just put out a table on the sidewalk and we'll start playing dominoes on the street. And that brought us together as a community, all because of the love we have for one another. Our roots were embedded in love. And although some of us gained some, some knowledge, we became professionals, some of us became proud, some of us became arrogant. You know, although knowledge is a good thing, it is a danger. In 1 Corinthians 8 verse 1, it speaks about know-it-all. Superiority says, knowledge puffs up, but love builds up. Do not get me wrong, knowledge is not a bad thing. It has been said that knowledge is like underwear, especially where I grew up. It is useful to have, but not necessarily to show it off. Instead of trying to impress others with what you know, Always try to encourage and build other people up in love. Knowledge so often leads to pride and arrogance. 1 Corinthians 8 verses 2 and 3 says, If anyone imagines that he knows something, he does not know it yet, as he ought to know. And in verse 3 it says, But whoever loves God is known by God. What really matters in this life is loving God and living a life of love. Sometimes our humble hearts can help us more than our proud minds. We never really know enough until we get to know and recognize that God alone knows it all. Love alone recognizes that Christ gave up his life for all of us. When God measures a person he puts the tape around the heart and not the mind. It's no good just knowing lots about God. Get to know God and let Him fill you with His love and do away with the pride that you have. God always keeps us humble within His Word. In other words, it is not what you know, but who you know. Let us pray. Father, thank You for Your Love, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your grace. Thank you, Father, for your peace that we can have to show to our next uh, person out there, Father. Father, let us be the light unto the world, Lord Jesus Christ, and not our own light and our own uh, shine to our own conditions and our own circumstances, Father. Let us be there for others, Father. Let us spread your love, Father. Let us spread the gospel, Lord Jesus Christ. We ask this in your mighty name. Amen.